Hello friends, I thought I would do another uh, granny square tutorial and this has got to be one of my favorite ones. I think it's so unique. Um, it's actually raised. Um, the way I did it was when I when I did the center, I pulled it really tight so it popped up. Um, the only thing is the backside isn't, it's not going to be uh, reversible unless of course you do something on the back and cover it. Um, but I just think this is a really cool granny square. I'm really excited to do it with you tonight. And um, I do believe it looks best when you do all of these rounds. So I'm going to give you the measurements um, with these rounds. So it is about seven and a quarter, both ways, seven and a half, seven and a quarter. And I used a, um, in the Boyd series, 4.25, which I'm sorry, I can't tell you what letter it is because it's it's worn off. I use it so much. Um, so what you'll need for this project is, of course, your, your hook, um, a darning needle to sew in your ends, a pair of scissors, and then I liked it with the five colors. Um, I really liked it with that pop of gold in the center and then there are four colors of blue but you can use any combination you like. Um, I think it looks really awesome like that um, but you can um, do two rounds the same color and then only maybe use two or three colors but I decided to go with all five colors. And so go ahead and get your supplies together, pause your video and we'll start up in just a moment. Okay, so hopefully you have all your supplies with you. The first thing we're gonna do is that center part. So whatever color you've selected, I'm gonna go with my gold again. And we're going to do popcorn stitches. So the way we wanna start that is, of course, with the magic circle. And they're um, done with the double crochet. So we want to chain three. And then do three more double crochets. And then I'll show you how to make it um, a popcorn stitch. So there are going to be clusters of four. Depending on how uh, the pattern is, some popcorn stitches have more or less. I've done patterns where um, the popcorn was only three double crochets, and I've done some where it was five double crochets. So it just depends on the pattern. This particular one calls for four. So after you do your chain three, you do three more double crochets, you're going to take your hook out of the loop you're going to go into that first stitch, which is actually, in this case, the chain three. So it's a little awkward. It's not as easy as a regular stitch. So you're gonna insert your hook, then you're going to insert it in, reinsert it into the loop. You're going to pull through, and that's a little snug, so just be careful you don't lose it and then it just kind of bows it together and then you're gonna chain one to secure it, okay? Now we are going to chain three in between each cluster, so that's your first chain, so two and three. And so now that we have the height, we don't need to do the chain three, we can go right into the double crochets. So you're going to do four double crochets and then a popcorn stitch um, make it into a popcorn stitch and then chain three. So it's popcorn, chain three, popcorn, chain three, and you're gonna repeat that um, till you have four popcorns. And then don't forget to do your last chain three and then a, um, slip stitch it to the top of the first popcorn. Go ahead and do that and we'll meet you back after round one so you can pause your video and we'll see you in just a moment. Okay, hopefully yours is looking somewhat like mine. It should actually have a square shape and um, be kind of uh, three-dimensional. Should be kind of, it should not be completely flat. So at this point, we're going to go to round two. And in mine, I used a light blue. So I'm gonna get my light blue. And essentially what we're gonna do is um, a popcorn, a chain three and a popcorn in every chain three space. So you have four chain four chain three spaces in your round one. So in these in these chain spaces, we're going to do a popcorn chain, popcorn chain three and a popcorn, and then chain three. So we're gonna do round two. 
So whatever color it is that you've um, chosen for round two, go ahead and slip stitch it into a chain three space. Oops. All right, and so um, we have to do the beginning popcorn, which is chain three. And then three additional double crochets. So it'll be a total of four. And then you're gonna remove your hook, go in the top of that chain three that was on camera sometimes I forget and then you're going to reinsert your hook and then pull through hopefully yours was a little easier than mine and then we're going to chain three and then we're going to do another cluster popcorn cluster in that same um, space so now we're going to do four complete double crochets and then turn it into a popcorn stitch or a popcorn cluster. All right, so we're gonna go back to that first stitch and then pull through, chain three, and then move on to our next chain three space. So go ahead and put two clusters in the remaining three st um, spaces. And then don't forget to chain three on your last one and connect it to the top of the first cluster. And I don't know if I mentioned it before, but because I, every round I change colors, I just tie my ends in right away. So I already sewed in my yellow um, ends. And so once I'm done with my light blue, I'm going to go ahead and sew those in too, because every time we're going to slip stitch into a chain three space. So it's just easier without all those threads hanging. So go ahead and finish round two and I'll meet you back in just a few moments. Okay, so hopefully yours is um, again, looking similar to this. You should really have some height going on now. Um, you should have eight clusters in your second round with eight chain three spaces okay so we're going to um, just kind of go with the same pattern in that in the next round round three if you do your color change go a little darker I'm going to use my my cornflower blue we're going to um, do the same the same concept in every chain three space you're going to do a cluster chain three cluster so at the end you should have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 um, clusters in round three, okay? So again, we're going to slip stitch into any chain three space, it doesn't really matter. And then don't forget, you're gonna start off by chaining three to get that height. And then three additional double crochets and then turn that cluster into a popcorn stitch, okay? So that's two. This yarn splits, <laughs> unfortunately. All right, there we go. One, two, three, and this one is four. Okay. I'm gonna remove my hook and then put it into my chain three space, the top of my chain three, which technically is your first double crochet. Reinsert, 
pull through, chain three, and then do, you may have to slide that over a little bit. Okay. And then do your second cluster in that same space. Hold on, I got my tail caught in there. So it's so much nicer to uh, insert on the top of a stitch like that. Okay, and then you're gonna close your popcorn by pulling through, chain three, and then you're gonna put popcorn, chain three, popcorn, and you're gonna go all the way around, and then on that last popcorn over here, you're gonna chain three, Gosh, I hope, I hope this was on the video. I just noticed my hands were really high. Um, on that last popcorn, don't forget to chain three and then slip stitch it to the, to the top of your first popcorn. Go ahead and pause your video, do that, and I'll meet you back in just a moment. Okay, so that was the end of round four and hopefully it should be laying a little flatter now. You're still gonna have, have that raised um, from the, but as far as um, the circle itself, it should be, kind of flattening out at this point. So now we're getting ready to go on to round four. And um, again, I'm going to do a color change. I'm gonna use my my darkest, my darker kind of royal blue. And for this round, we're gonna do the same concept where we're putting uh, the popcorn cluster, chain three in a popcorn cluster in each of the chain three spaces. So at the end of, of round um, four, you should have 32 clusters with your chain three spaces. So <clears throat> again, you're gonna just slip stitch in any chain three space, and then you're gonna just go ahead and do uh, two clusters with a chain three space in between. So it'll be a cluster. Oh, goodness, this yarn is the worst for splitting but I just love the color, so. So chain three, and then three additional double crochets, turn it into a popcorn cluster, chain three, and then do another popcorn cluster all in the same stitch, or all in the same, same um, space, sorry about that. I don't mean to be confusing. Okay, so that was my first cluster. Now my favorite part is getting this hook into that top of that chain three. It goes so much faster when it's just a regular double crochet. Okay. Hmm. All right, there we go. Chain three, and then slide it over and do your second cluster. then chain three and then just keep repeating it into every chain three space okay every chain three space go ahead and do your cluster chain three cluster okay and go all the way around and then don't forget again on that last cluster um, chain three and then attach it to that top of the the first the first popcorn stitch and then you should have 32 clusters with chain three spaces in between. And go ahead and pause your video, go ahead and do that, and I'll meet you back at the end of um, round four. Okay, so we just finished round four, and this is where we should be at, okay? So it should be laying nice and flat, and it should be circular. So now we're gonna start building 
the square component. If you wanted to stop at this point, if you wanted it as a round um, piece, maybe as a doily, or if you wanted to maybe sew it onto a pillow, um, I would probably do a finishing edge, um, something that, that you like, um, a single crochet or a reverse single crochet, something, a, maybe a peacoat, whatever you like. Um, you could stop at this point if you wanted to keep it round, um, but I really liked the square component. So now we're going to start working on round five, which is right in here. So it's going to be a mix of double crochets, half doubles, and singles to kind of start forming that square part. And you'll notice if, if you can see, I tried to um, zoom the camera out a little bit. Let me see if I can just pull it away a little bit so you can see it. Even this next round, it's still a little a little round. It really happens on round six is where it really starts to get um, a little bit more square. And then on round seven, it really comes together as a, a nice block. So for round five, I made a little chichi because it's really confusing. So um, let me just go ahead and pull this down a little bit so you can see it a little better. So in every corner, which is what we're gonna start, we're gonna start as a corner. We're gonna do two single crochets, uh, I'm sorry, two double crochets, a chain two and a double crochet. And for that initial double crochet, of course it's a chain three. And then this combination is going to be the, the chain three spaces in between the next corner. So it's a two doubles, two halves, two singles, three singles, two singles, two halves and two doubles. And then you should be at the point where you're going to do um, your, you know, if you started at one corner, you should be then at the second corner. So hopefully you can kind of see that here. So I will um, put this in the notes, um, in the, the notes below the video, um, just because there is a lot to it. Um, so you may wanna jot it down or copy it from the notes section of the video and then go ahead and do it. But we're gonna start the way we've, we've started every, um, every round by, and you can just choose any, um, you know, any corner, it doesn't really matter if you want, um, your your center to be a certain way so for example if i really want my center to be like this then i know i'm going to have to start my corner kind of over here and work across okay so just keep that in mind you know depending on you know if you started here if that's going to be a corner then that's how your your cross is going to be it's going to be more like an x but i kind of like it this effect so I'm gonna just eyeball it and, and just kind of start over here on my right. And we're just gonna slip stitch like we have been doing. And then we're gonna chain three and that's gonna count as your double. And then, so the, the corner is two doubles, chain two and two doubles. So I'm gonna do my second double chain two, two more doubles, try to not get my tail caught in there. That first one's always just a little clumsy, okay? So that's my first corner. And if I look at my, my little notes, make sure it's in the, the camera here. Then in the next chain three space, I'm gonna do two doubles. So I'm, I'm not gonna chain or anything. I'm just gonna go right into my next, let me just make, let me just look at my notes just to make sure. Yes, there was no chaining. So I'm gonna go right from my corner to my next chain three space and do two double crochets. So this is my next chain three space, so two doubles. and then two half doubles in my next chain three space. So I'm just gonna jump right to the next space and do two halves and then two singles. So just jump to the next chain three space, oops. Two singles. Then the next chain three space is three singles all in the same stitch 
So three and then two singles, the next chain three space. And now we're gonna start building back up two half doubles. Two doubles in the next chain, chain three space. And now we should be at a corner. So the corner is two doubles and I don't have to chain three because I have my height. So I'm just gonna do my two doubles, chain two, whoops, and then two doubles. And then I'm gonna repeat the pattern till I get to all four sides. And then of course, at the end, I'm gonna slip stitch into the top of the chain three, okay? And then don't, um, if, if you're using the same color, then of course, don't um, fasten off, keep it attached. And we'll go ahead and then do um, round six together. So go ahead and finish round five and um, watch your notes because the height really helps square that off. So if you put the wrong stitch in, um, it's going to throw off the height of your square. So I'll see you back in a few minutes. Okay, so that was the end of round five and I'm gonna start round six now. So I'm keeping it the same color, so I just left my working yarn attached. So I made another Chi Chi again for round six and you'll find those notes in um, the the video description just because it is kind of confusing. So with round six, it's telling us to chain three because we need that height. So um, that's, that'll be counted as a double crochet. And then in the next stitch, another double crochet. And then we're in the corner, the corner space. So then we're gonna do two doubles, chain two and two doubles. And then of course, we'll be turning at that point and working along the side, which this is the pattern um, for this side. So you're going to do, um, and this is one stitch in, um, one stitch in, in every stitch along the way. So it's a double, double, a half, a half, 11 singles, two um, halves, two doubles, and then we would be back at the chain two space, which is our corner so we would just repeat all the way around. So let's do it together, because it is a little confusing. So we're gonna pick up where we left off from round five. So this is the beginning of round six. So my instructions say to chain three and then do a double. And then that puts me into my chain two space, which it's two double crochets. chain two. Now I'm going to kind of turn my work just because I like to work in that direction. And then I'm going to finish off my corner with another two double crochets. Okay, so that's the end of what goes in my corner. And then my notes tell me to do in the next two stitches um, a, a double crochet in each stitch. So that's a double and then another double. Now I'm supposed to do two halves, one in each stitch. So that's a half double, this is a half double. And then it tells me to do 11 singles. So to make my life easier, what I'm gonna do is just pre-count. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, to put this stitch marker here so that I know I stop at that stitch before and then I don't have to try to count my stitches. I thought so. I put two in that one stitch. I was like, what am I doing? 
All right. Yep. So I still messed up. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go back and count just to make sure. Okay, so let's see here. So that's my corner, double, double, half, half, one, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Why am I coming up with an extra one? No, 11. Ay, ay, ay. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> it's late and I'm very tired, but I wanted to quick finish off this square. Okay, so after my 11 singles, um, my instructions told me to do two half doubles. I just hope I end up at the right spot at the end of this row. So that's two half doubles and then two doubles. And then I should be at my chain two space and it looks like I am. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so that's a corner. So that's a double and a double and a chain two and a double and a double. Okay. So that's one side. <laughs> so go ahead and finish off the next three, the next three sides and I will meet you back. So pause your video and we'll meet back in a few minutes or it'll be a few minutes for me. Okay. So that is the end of round six and it should really look a lot nicer now. It still has a little bit of curving in it, but it's, it's much better. Um, but the next round, round seven, really sets it really nice, makes it really nice and um, squared off. So round seven is, is very easy. So you're going to, uh, oh, and by the way, um, I ended on my two half doubles because remember we started with the two, the two um, single, um, I want the, the two doubles that are in one stitch each. <laughs> I don't know how to say it without confusing you. Um, so I actually connected my half double with my chain three. And then of course I had my double and then I went into my corner. So I just wanted to um, mention that in case um, you're new and, and you were like, oh, I did it wrong. No, you didn't. You, you were abs you're absolutely right. You ended on a half double and you connected to your top of your chain three at, to end round six. So for round seven, it's very simple. We're going to chain three to start it off because we have no height. So we're going to chain three and then we're just going to put a double crochet in every stitch. And then on the corners, we're going to keep that pattern of two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. So uh, round seven is just chaining three. Let me uh, bring the camera back down. There, hopefully that's better. So that was two. Okay, so now it's chain three. So now I'm just gonna do double crochets all the way around. And then when I get to my corners, I'm gonna do that pattern of two doubles, chain two, two doubles. Okay, so now I'm at my corner. So double, double, chain two, I'm going to rotate my work, finish off my corner with two double crochets, and then I'm just going to do one double crochet in every stitch all the way across all the four sides. So it's just one double crochet in every stitch, and then your corners have the two doubles, chain two, two doubles. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video, finish around seven, and we'll meet you back to uh, 
see how yours turned out. Alrighty. Okay, so I just finished round seven and you can see um, doing that row of double crochet really sets it off to a nice um, squared finish. So um, I guess I, I, balled, I balled it pretty good when I picked um, this corner because um, it looks really good. It's square and my, my uh, center is um, the direction I wanted it to be. So hopefully, um, you, you probably only have one, but hopefully um, yours came out just as nice and hopefully you um, are happy with your, your work. I absolutely love this square. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use it for, but I just think it's gorgeous and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And um, hopefully I'll have a few more videos coming out in the, in the days to come. You all have a great evening. Um, goodbye from Florida.